What is going on guys, TV here, welcome to the LGS, checking my phone as you do, 20 past 6 on a Monday afternoon, I've had an absolute nightmare today of epic proportions, now and I'm probably going to try and scale down the volume of the game so you don't have the uh, really loud knock, rock, knock, rock, rock, rock noises, there you go, playing Rust, I really, 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 and I can't emphasise how much I really, really, really wanted to play Rust today, so that's why I'm on the game, um, I wanted to play Rust last week, and I tried it for like 10, 20 minutes, and I just I, I just felt like, well, like, there's no point, because I'm not going to have enough time to sit here and play it, and then be able to continue to play it, because Rust, if you don't know, open world survival, um, other players on right now, there's only 21 other people on right now, just a random server that I know I can get on and sort of just build up into that basis, but over there's been raided already, um, just a server that I know I can build up on very, very quickly, and uh, it, it won't matter too much if I lose everything because it doesn't take that long really to build up some stuff. That's, that's the, what I was going for with this. So I know I'm not going to be able to play it after today. And that's one of the reasons why I picked this server. So uh, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to jump on Rust to be honest. I have ordered a... Is there any rads? Nope. I have ordered a new game uh, to play on the LGS and to possibly do a series with as well on the second channel. which will uh, or, or even stream... Because the second channel obviously has taken a massive step back recently, and that is okay. I'll take whatever's being offered. Really, um, it's it's basically down to the fact that um, the, the the FIFA came out, and uh, it's it's not really possible for me to keep both of them going. Like I can't really do a, a, a second channel and three main channel videos. And you may say, well, scale down the main channel videos, but obviously the main channel is where the money's at. The second channel, unfortunately, brings next to nothing in. So there's not really an awful lot of, um, I don't have an awful lot of reason to wanna make as much uh, second channel content as I should. Ooh, a gun with four rounds in it. That should come in very handy for when I meet someone with an AK. Um, so yeah, second channel will eventually get going again, and we will. I'll, I'll get some sort of uh, some rhythm going. Uh, I'm pretty sure an apple fell out of there. There it is. Um, I'll get some sort of rhythm going with the second channel. I'm sort of toying with uh, the idea of, of streaming certain things and being able to upload them. I had problems in the past, and a lot of you may not give a shit, but I'm just going to explain anyway. It's a shame I didn't have this topic of discussion last week. This is actually a nice place to build, although I'm very close to that warehouse. But uh, we'll keep running and see what happens. Um, yeah, I had, uh, what did I have? I had, I don't even know what I'm on about. What am I even talking about? Let's, let's just, I don't know. Let's pretend I knew exactly what I was on about and start talking about, um, I had issues with, um, with streaming and recording at the same time. So last week with Foot Champions, I wanted to stream it because it was, I was, you know, it was Saturday and it was a stream day and if I didn't stream it i wouldn't have been able to finish it i wouldn't have had enough time to do all the foot champion games so what i had to do was stream me playing foot champions however i needed to record it for a youtube video because i'm doing a foot champions like not road to glory necessarily okay that's readable definitely i'm not doing a road to glory as such but i am doing you know this is my progression this is how we're doing kind of thing and i need to record it so i toyed with the idea of um just recording it with bad audio because i know when i record while I'm streaming, or if I record my audio, my voice using OBS, the quality is dreadful. There's popping all over the place. I don't know why, but it is really annoying, but it does it. So I had to make a decision whether to stream it or not stream it. And then I came up with the idea of just recording my audio separately to what I was doing on stream. So to cut a very long story short, um, I'm now able to stream and record whatever I stream uh, with audio. Um, and it's all fine. All runs fine on stream. All runs fine. The quality isn't amazing uh, when I, you know, my recording because obviously the quality can't be amazing because otherwise you guys would need supercomputers in order to watch it. But um, while while streaming, but still, I'm now deciding whether to stream certain things like Mafia. I've got Mafia Three. I've played about three minutes of it because I just don't have time to play it in my free time. So I was thinking streaming wise, I could stream it record my audio separately and then you know do very limited amounts of editing and stick it up on the second channel same with f1 i could do that with f1 uh it's you know the whole whole new world of possibilities have opened up I'm, I'm gonna keep those for a change uh so yeah i can do i'm talking with the idea of basically streaming a lot more but recording everything that i stream 
FM is difficult. I don't really like streaming and recording FM. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, it's not, you know, I don't really pay enough attention to FM to warrant recording it and then trying to edit as well. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the tits to do, but uh, we'll see what happens with regards to that. And, uh, right, let's talk about something that you guys are actually interested in because I know a lot of you don't really care about those side of things. So I just wanted to let you know that... Uh, the thought process for the second channel is still there. I still want to create content. I still really enjoy F1. Uh, and I still really want to do it. But it's just time. And I don't have... It's, it's just time I don't have. If I didn't have... Um, no, it's just time. Honestly, if I had... If I was getting like three, four, maybe 5,000 views a video. Each video that I uploaded. I could probably fit in a second channel. Because I wouldn't have to do as much first channel content. I could I could scale back, you know, but because I don't have that viewership, I need to make more videos in order to try and bump up that viewership. If that makes any sense, uh, let's move in with the questions though, because this is gonna be a long LGS. You guys went ham with questions this week, which is a shame because I, th I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be that like not hoping it wouldn't be that bad. But why couldn't you guys have asked questions last week, huh? huh? Why couldn't we have split it up and taken half of last week? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Hey TVM, Premier League prediction, any changes to it after seeing the season uh, progress? Um, obviously, I'm not quite sure where I placed... Oh, wow. I'm not quite sure where I placed teams like Stoke and stuff, but obviously Stoke are not doing that well at the moment, so I would imagine Stoke are going to finish bottom half. not quite sure where I said Stoke would finish. I think Man City will win the league. Uh, Man United now may struggle to finish second, maybe third. Uh, definitely top four, 100% top four. Arsenal though, Arsenal have got a very good chance of doing some damage in the season. Uh, in the oh, uh, bay, uh, run away. Uh, they've got a very good chance of doing some damage this season with regards to title challenges. I, I I genuinely think they could mount a title challenge should they keep their starting eleven fit. It's the same old story with Arsenal though. If one or two of their players get injured, they're screwed because they don't have enough quality and depth. But um, you know, we'll see what happens there. But no, I, for the most part, I'm more than happy with my. Um, that, I don't like that. Join our official team speak and get your own permanent channel. That pisses me off a little bit. I mean, I kind of like, you know, thanks for the offer, but you don't need to pop up on my screen like that. Go into the chat in the bottom left is more than sufficient. So, yeah. When are you going to do your Sterling one and up? Um, I didn't actually say I was going to do Sterling necessarily. It was just because obviously I had the Sterling. I'm kind of hoping they do player of the month every month. And then we can finally pick a player that we like. If player of the month every month is correct, then I know who's going to be um, the next player that they do after Sterling. And if that's the case, oh baby, that's the player I'm going to pick. But um, we'll have to wait and see what EA decide to do with regards to their uh, their untradeable squad builder challenges. Um, we are looking around for some shit to actually build a base. I have no idea where I am on the map. I've got no idea what the map size is, where we are, what's going on. But uh, we're going to get this rock, get some wood, and then just start building a base randomly wherever we wherever we are um so yeah um i i will do a one and up the problem with it is and i say this all the time to everybody who ever asks i can't do a one and up until there's an abundance of informs it, it would be silly to start it right now because if i was if i was to start it right now chances are i would get to the inform stage the way that i'm playing at the moment in seasons which is the gameplay that i would be using uh, the way that I'm playing at the moment, I would probably get to the inform stage by about 10, 12 episodes max, which is probably only going to be about two, two and a half weeks, which means we're going to have another two, um, two team of the weeks by the time that we get to the full inform stage, which is silly because, like, you know, by the time we get there, there's not enough, there's, there's simply not going to be enough uh, informs for me to build a full inform team, like, that makes sense because you know there's we, we need chemistry some of them are going to be Ronaldo Lewandowski etc etc they're going to be silly money that I can't afford it, we are down that road of there's not just not enough players so I normally wait to November if I'm honest uh, I normally wait till like the first second week of November I think even last year I waited till Christmas Eve and I started it Christmas Eve or Christmas Day one or the other I, I started it quite late last year I know I did that but um, you'll definitely see a one up this year 110% you'll see a one and up uh, there may be a couple of twists to it I've got a few ideas that I may bring into it more or less going to be the same but there are a few little stipulations and we may try and introduce a little bit of um, diversity into the series Not nothing massive just something here or there just a little like a little extra bonus thing I don't know we'll see I need to eat 
Um, I'm going to use metal. I'm going to use that for metal. Uh, so yeah, funniest moment in your life if you had to think back to something that will happen that will always make you laugh. Um, I, I, I kind of like being put on the spot with certain things, but questions like this where I've got to think about like everything that I've ever done, not easy. Um, there are quite a few bases on this map, to be fair. I, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, probably want something along the lines of the Tenerife thing or the, the whole school, the leaving school pranks, the sixth form pranks. Those, those are probably like the... Because, I mean, that was in a six-month period of itself. You know, like, the, the, the sixth form... Us leaving sixth form in May, I want to say. Um, beginning of May. And then me going to Tenerife the July after that. So that was, what, May, June, July. Yeah, literally a three-month period. All that happened within three months. Me leaving sixth form and going to Tenerife. That was probably the best, funniest three months that I've probably ever had with regards to just memorable things. You know, like sometimes you say something or you make a joke or something happens uh, with you and your mates and you have a laugh about it and you think, oh Christ, that was funny as hell. But after a while, the memory fades and you just forget. Well, obviously the six form pranks, I will never forget those. And going to Tenerife for my 18th, of course, I will never forget that either because it was such a significant thing. So I think the those were probably the... Like Tenerife was just hilarious from start to finish. A couple of arguments here or there, but for the most part, it was just, oh, what a lovely little house. Um, for the most part, it was just it was just funny, you know. Um, he spelled Carrius wrong, that dude from France. I'm joking, I know. Uh, are you happy with your views currently? I'm happier than what I was two months ago or even a month ago. Um, I don't want to dwell on it too much because Jim Lad may be watching. For those of you who were in the stream that day. Oh, Christ. Um, no, I mean, yeah. I No, I mean, yeah. Uh, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm relatively happy with the overall amount of views that I'm getting, but not per video. Um... I mean, if you look at it from a, a subscriber perspective, the amount of subscribers that I have, you would expect me to get three, four, maybe even 5,000 views a video. That doesn't happen. In fact, if I get 2,000, 3,000 views a video, that video was banged for me. You know, that video has done really, really well. And it happened with a Premier League squad builder that I uploaded recently that got uh, 4,000 views. It's still going, actually. It's still climbing quite well. Um, that's done really well. But in in reality, that should be the level that I'm that I'm achieving every single video based on my subscriber count. Obviously, I know my subscriber count means nothing because it's basically just eighty percent or seventy percent dead subs, uh, and I get that, I understand that. But um, no, I'd like to be able to achieve by by Christmas, by the end of the year, essentially, I would like to be achieving. Uh, a thousand views solid every single time I upload a video. Obviously, some videos I know are not going to do as well as others. I know some videos are going to be like, um, are only going to get 500 max, you know, because that's just the nature of it. Like the FIFA mobile videos, they're actually doing really well for me at the moment. People still loving the series. Probably going to die off once the game actually comes out fully, which is, I think, yesterday for you guys. Uh, but <clears throat> either way, yeah, uh, those videos are never going to get over a thousand views each, probably. But uh, the rest of them, I would like them to be hitting a thousand views a video. If I can do that, and I can still get three videos a day out, which is not easy, but I mean, very. Oh, hello, Rads. Let's go. Uh, very uh, manageable. Although second channel is taking a hit because of that, so we'll see what happens. Like I said, but uh, yeah, if I can get a thousand views a video guaranteed for the most part, then yeah, I'll be happy. But at the moment, we're sort of getting between five and 800, which is, is, you know, we're not far off at all, not far off at all, but we, you know, it's something that I can definitely aim for. Uh, the, the, the channel's actually going really well at the moment. We've gained a few hundred subscribers in the last few weeks, or last couple of weeks, maybe even a week. Uh, we're up to 30,400, which is awesome. Thank you guys for the support, of course. And uh, hopefully, may we continue to grow. I am gonna check that, I don't want that anymore. You know, hopefully we can keep growing and, and maybe get to 31,000 by, by November, something along those lines. No, not, not November itself, like the end of November. That'd be kind of cool. But again, subscriber count, although I am grateful for every subscriber that I have, I'm not. it's not a necessity. I don't really care too much about the subscribers. If I had like 5,000 subscribers, but I was getting 1,000 views a video, chuffed. Do you know what I mean? If you, if you can do that, then, you know, you, you go in places kind of thing. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, complains at me for not asking a question, so here is one. Have you used Shakiri? No is the answer to that. If you, if not, you really should. Genuinely gets two or three goal uh, contributions a game. I will... Uh, oh, hello, hello. 
I will test him out. The The main reason I have not tested him out this year so far is genuinely because I'm not a fan of Shakiri. Real life, he's okay, but in game, I just, I've never liked him. Uh, I don't know why. I just, I, I just don't have, I don't know, I just don't have the same love that you guys have for him. I know a lot of people like Shakiri in game. I'm not a massive fan, but, uh, you know, thanks for your question, you know. You did, to be fair, you did, um, you, you joined the streams this week as well for the first time, I remember, but uh, you, uh, you commented last week but didn't leave a question, which is something that I fundamentally needed because we only had, like, three questions. But uh, you guys have come back in droves this week. I've talked bollocks for the first 10, 20 minutes of this already. I know I have. We've already been going for 16 minutes. I'm three questions in. See, like, this last week would have been perfect because I can keep talking about my views all day long. Um, I don't really want that. I don't know if this is loot plus plus or just, or just loot or what. I don't know. I don't know if there's any point going down here. Maybe we can just drop down or something. I don't think there's anything down here. I think I may have just made a mistake. Oh, no, we can go across. Can we? Oh, we can. Okay, that shows how often I come to rads. Luke is normally the one that goes to the rads. Um, ooh. Okay. Me and Luke, actually, incidentally, going back to the whole YouTube thing, which is obviously what we're doing You know, here. We are we are creating YouTube content. Uh, me and Luke have got a, a thing going at the moment where... Oh, well, no. I don't have a gun for it, but I'll take it. Me and Luke have got a thing going at the moment where he does... It's all Team of the Week prediction related. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is going to interest you greatly, I would imagine. Um, obviously, last year I did Team of the Week predictions, right? But what you may not have known... Actually, what well, you should have known. Why is that even blocked off? Why is that even a thing? I thought I could get to the roof. I thought there'd be shit on the roof. Oh, well, fuck it. Is there... A, what's going on? A huge truck outside, I can't see it. Anyway, it's, it's really noisy. Um, so last last year I did Team of the Week predictions, as you probably know. But like I said, what you probably didn't know was Luke did all of it for me. I didn't do any of the research whatsoever. Luke did all the research for Team of the Week predictions for FIFA 16. There's the truck reversing. See, I wasn't, I wasn't lying. That's really frustrating. If I had time, I would uh, find the stairs. No, I'd cut out... Oh, it's a fire truck. Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, if, if people are going to be caught on fire, then we'll let, I'll let it slide. Normally, I shout out the window for that kind of stuff, you know, like, shut the fuck up. Uh, so, how the hell do I get upstairs? There you go. I didn't even see that. I knew there was a door there, but I didn't. it did, didn't look like there was a door there. So, I kind of gave up on the idea of there ever being a door there. So, this year, he's doing it himself for his own channel, the selfish bastard. No, he's doing it himself, right? Uh, so what I decided to do was take up the challenge myself and do them myself. Now I am getting a little bit of help from certain websites here or there that are doing half of the research for me, but for the most part I am still having to pick through or sift through players. Obviously he goes into much more depth with his uh, re with his research than I do, but I'm trying my best, okay, with the time uh, that I have, which is not a lot. But why well, you can destroy the roof? Cool, that's cool. Oh, I've never seen a box up here either. This is awesome. I love this game. Uh, CCTV camera's not going to go very far in this one, though. I don't really need an auto turret. But um, what I'm trying to say is he is doing his own. I'm doing my own. He puts shit tons of time into the research. I, not so much. Go check out his channel. The link will be at the top of the video description if I remember, which I probably won't, but it'll be in the description some way if you want to go check it out. Now, I do highly recommend you go do this because every single... I don't know, maybe Sunday, Monday, when we uh, upload our videos, you can go and see who's picked who. And then obviously every Wednesday when they announce the team of the week, you can see whether I beat him, he beat me, etc., etc. Now obviously he does a lot more research than I do, so the chances of him beating me are, are quite high. But you never know. Is that a HV? I don't want that. Uh, so you never, but you never know, you know. We, I could win. I could beat him, which would be a turn up for the books. But either way, go check him out anyway if you're into that kind of thing. Um... Okay, think you've got enough questions? Yeah, you're probably right there. Top three favourite players you've used in FIFA 17 so far. Uh, Mustafi, centre-back, without a shadow of a doubt now. Obviously, I'm using the one-to-watch version, but I don't think there's any difference between the one-to-watch version and the normal one. I mean, at least stat-wise on the card, they're exactly the same. Whether they play differently is, uh, is another question. But I would say no, that they probably don't, because why would they? But then this is EA, so there is a chance. Why? I don't need two. Do they stack? No, they don't. So... So yeah, Mustafi's definitely number one. Ooh. Uh, who would be... Oh my god. Can I not have a, like an AK or a bolt or anything? Uh, who would be number, who would be the best player that I've used so far this year? Mustafi number one. Van Dyke is probably another one, to be fair. Van Dyke is actually really good. I know they're both centre-backs, but you, know, you need centre-backs in this game to be phenomenal. 
And yeah, I know, I've just thought of it. So Mustafi Van Dyke, and believe it or not, Marwan Fellaini. Uh, Fellaini is absolutely incredible. Um, obviously, ph phenomenal in the air. Uh, really good footwork, actually, surprisingly. If you stick the right chemistry style on him in particular, going to do very well for you. But it uh, just blocks everything coming past him. Such a good player in game. Real life, he's a, an absolute bag of horse shit. But um, in game, really, really like using him. And uh, what I'm really not liking at the moment is the uh, the loop that we're getting from these from these boxes. I, I do believe it's loop plus plus. Uh, so far, it's just looped shit shit because I'm not getting anything from it. I genuinely thought I was gonna gonna be a dead man then. Like, what is this? I don't need these rounds, man. I do want to just chuck in the HV while I've got it though. Might as well. There's a barrel up here. Yeah. So. Yeah, those are probably the three best that I've used so far. A bit boring because they're sort of defense-minded. Because uh, 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 oh. uh, they're defense-minded players. Yeah, maybe it is a bit boring. But for the most part, you know, I'm... You, you want to be able to defend, right? You want to be... We need to go build a base or something because this is a little bit... Not boring, but, I mean, we need to... You need to go do something of, of worth. Level 9! Level 9 already? Wow. They've doubled the XP. Uh, in this game by the way so if you are like if you used to play it or you've taken a break or you're thinking you get into it or whatever they've uh, they've doubled the xp for the foreseeable future because they're working on a new system to replace the xp system which sounds so much better than the xp system does uh well, the xp system sounded amazing when they made it but it just wasn't executed properly at all so that's one of the reasons why they are uh, overhauling it already. We've only had the XP system like two months, but they're still getting rid of it, which is cool. You know, if they made a mistake, they're not afraid to change it. <coughs> EA. That is my Brecon Mountain Railway mug. I would appreciate if you didn't criticize me. But it is uh, fairly chilly. I just had a really cold shower as well, so I had some tea and toast, except it's coffee. Don't know why I said tea. So, let's move on. Um, what is the three things you can really say you hate um obviously i'm gonna pick trivial things because why would you pick like you know senseless killing and racism because that's just that's a given right um yeah we're not gonna pick things like racism senseless killing child abuse that kind of a thing because that's just you know we're not getting that deep we're not kind of, we're not we're not we're not talking like that we're gonna talk like things on youtube things in games uh, football, etc. Like you know, the, the the really important stuff that actually matters. Pfft, racism. Um, what? So, if you're watching this for the first time, by the way, I'm joking. You need to calm your tits. All right, we're not really like. I am really like that. I'm joking. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. So, three things I really hate. I'm gonna take one from YouTube, uh, because I think you know that's bread and butter. I kind of have to do that. It's a very YouTube orientated episode. I know the video is up on YouTube, but uh, someone someone asked me, can I um. Uh, can I upload these to a podcast sort of format, just the audio? And I'm looking into it. Um, I'm definitely looking into it, so bear with me on that. But um, I'm, again, I'm not really going to earn the money from that, so we'll see what happens. You know, all this is a, is a money money capitalist venture, and uh, if I don't earn money from it, then I, I ain't going to do it. So, um, no, the, the LGS is don't really earn a massive amount, so I will definitely look into it for you. I think Jevsky asked, asked me, actually, so I'll maybe ask him what he wants me to do. Um, three things I hate... YouTube-wise, um, I think clickbait, like genuine clickbait, pisses me off. Uh, I, I hate, I do hate that. I mean, there are things I know I hate, but I can't think of right now. But clickbait really does piss me off. It, um, interesting. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, that definitely does piss me off. Um, it's, it's, I don't mean clickbait like, um, like, Oh, the best squad builder in FIFA kind of thing. Because, yeah, that is clickbait, but it's 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 normal, you know, bog standard. You don't really expect this to be the best ever. Surely not, you know, like, because no one can claim this is the best ever. Because how do you know? You know, it could be good for you, but shit for someone else. It's when people go, you know, like, um, this is how to win foot champions. And... They, they don't even play the foot champions in the game. I saw someone do that yesterday. That annoyed the shit out of me. So, actually, someone I'm subscribed to, someone I actually fairly enjoy watching, to be, to be honest. He's kind of, he's, you know, he's not a massive YouTuber by any stretch. He's got like one, 2,000 subscribers max. But he's entertaining. You know, it's just like just something you can check on in the background. And uh, this year, not so much. But last year in particular was very entertaining. 
Uh, but this year, he, like yesterday, he uploaded a, a video how to win the foot draft, or no foot draft, foot champions. And none of his gameplay came from foot champions. Uh, he actually recorded the video before foot champions and it, it was just frustrating like i mean okay well, that's kind of borderline but it still annoyed me that he did it but it's when people go pele in a pack or um when the new team of the week comes out for instance this week say ronaldo's in it someone will do um oh my god 95 striker ronaldo uh fifa 17 pack opening hunt and on the thumbnail they've got uh, Ronaldo coming out of a pack and a really shocked face. That is the most frustrating thing in the world to me because that video gets views. Okay, it gets dislikes, but that video will get views. And I know what you're saying. Well, do it yourself. You know, you do it. You get the views. Go for it. That's a huge base down there. You do it. You get the views. You go for it. But it doesn't happen for me. If I uploaded that video, I'd get uh, no more than about... It's getting dark. We need to build a base. If, if I made that video... Um, I'd get no more than 300 views and I'd get shit tons of dislikes on it. So it's just not worth my time doing it. But other people doing it pisses me right off. Two other things I hate. Um, I suppose play acting in football really, really does get, get on my nerves when people dive, like blatant dives, and they roll around on the floor as if they've just been shot. That, that frustrates me. Because you know, right, if a player goes down injured and he's not moving, he's flat, he's just, he's just still. That's bad. He's injured. That hurts, you know. If a player rolls around on the floor as if he's just been shot, he's play acting. It's obvious. The referee needs to stop it and to step in and go, Oi, fuck off. Um, actually, I've just thought of another thing that, really, that I really, really, really hate that really needs changing that I don't think will... It's YouTube-related as well. But um, I, I may come back to that question in the future because I think I can think of something else that I hate a lot. But uh, the YouTube copyright system is something that I hate more than anything in the world. That is the biggest bag of shit since uh, MySpace. I mean, I, to be, I, I look quite like MySpace when it was out, if I'm honest. It's going to get so dark up in here soon that we won't be able to see anything. But, uh, you know, it's, um, it is what it is. I I've probably have to build a base around here then, don't we? Welcome to Red Town. Uh, so, yeah, the YouTube copyright system. The fact that YouTube don't even check and they just give you a copyright strike without even without even looking to see whether the oh wow without even looking to see if the people were actually right in doing that to you uh that is the biggest piece of shit ever that that really gets on my nerves youtube need to sort that crap out um okay so we've got two big bases there again not really where i want to build at all because well you don't want to build on the doorstep of someone else which is an issue for me because obviously it's now dark to the point where i'm not gonna be able to see anything so we are gonna have to go on the coast build a fire and sort of wait out the night i'm kind of hoping they've got quick night on here but i mean i'm not hopeful if we go on the coast as well we we uh minimize min minimize we minimize risk of bears and, and whatnot let me go under here oh, look at the view this game is so pretty uh let's make a campfire and let's get rid of our mace uh so we can put the campfire in Will you do a career mode? Yes. I want to do a career mode, um, but at the moment I can't bite off more than I can chew, essentially, right? So do we want to cover up half the fire? No, we'll, we'll, we'll make it proper. We'll, we'll, we'll play the game as way it was meant to be played. Um, at the moment I can't do it because I'm, I'll bite off more than I can chew. So Foot Champions is a series that we have. I've started a road to glory with regards to squad builder challenges. That is going to last me a long time. So that's two series already. We've got player reviews on top of that, which essentially is another series. So that's three series going. The squad builders for me right now are doing exceptionally well. So I, I want to continue those, maybe doing three a week. That's more again. The FIFA mobile videos are more or less daily. Uh, maybe sometimes I'll miss the odd day, but for the most part, they are daily. So that's, that's five. And... I don't think I'm doing anything else right now, but that's five things. And if I did one of them every other day, three videos a day, and we are, you know, and I'm, and I'm swamped. If I start a career mode as well, it starts to get a bit, oh my God, this is too much to handle. So career mode will probably start in around a month and a half's time. I know I should have started it as soon as the game came out, 
but I knew that career mode is something that will always gain views over time and something that is always relevant, right? The the foot champions, it may die off, people may give up on it, and then if that's the case, then the series will stop. The squad builder challenge, Road to Glory, will eventually come to an end regardless, and I know you need to hit that kind of thing hard when it first comes out, so that's what I decided to do, and I'm happy with my decision. So yeah, career mode around end of November, beginning of December, probably. Uh, would you rather live forever or die in the next five minutes? I would rather live forever. I'm of a firm believer that I would like to live forever regardless. Even if you'd say, would you like to live for 100 years or live forever? I just pick the forever bit. Um, I'm a whore and, I'm, and, I, and I love it too much to, to give it up. So yeah, there you go. Now I could go through the, the, the pros and cons, but um, let's, just, let's just say how awesome would it be to live forever. Oh, what happens when the world dies and there's no one else around? You can watch all your family die all the time. Let's be honest, right? I, I said I wouldn't get into this, but if you, I, this might be sound a bit cold now, <clears throat> but Imagine living forever, right? So in the first 60 years, yeah, okay, fine. You're going to watch pretty much everyone you know and care about and family-wise, they're all going to die. After that first time that you lose your parents, your brothers and sisters, nieces, nephews, uh, grandkids maybe, your wife, etc. You know, after you lose all those people, you will become desensitized to it. Without a shadow of a doubt, you will become desensitized. It's, it's not like... Um, it's, it's, it's not like, you know, like in... Oh, what the hell? That was quick. That was that was very quick. Uh, it's, it's not like, like now in life where, you know, you lose them all and you're not used to losing people and it kind of just like, it takes you by surprise. You have to time to grief and stuff. Okay, grief. That will happen initially, but after a while, uh, yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, after a while, it's just not going to be that much of a big deal to you. You're going to get used to it. You, it's not really like you just, you just know it's coming kind of thing. So... Yeah, uh, that sounds really cold, but it's true, isn't it? Like, I was what did I, what did I do yesterday? I watched um, I watched a little bit of the Sidemen podcast, and um, is it still getting night? I watched a little bit of the Sidemen podcast, and JJ mentioned a uh, website um, that I, I can't remember it was something called Gore Best Gore or something like that and I was like what the hell what's that and everyone was like no, no no don't go check it out so naturally as a human I went straight away to check it out and it was just full of basically like dark web stuff it was all like um, you know ISIS fighting against rebels and stuff like that and getting sniped from yeah uh, I, I, yeah people from ISIS and stuff like fighting against other people and, and getting sniped and um, you know just dying and people like with like sexual accidents with getting things stuck in places. Uh, what else was it? Um, that probably won't help me against helicopters because I think they just shoot through twig anyway. But we'll we'll just stay here for the time being because I obviously I hear the heli. Um, I'm staying here for the night, by the way, and it's a bit boring, but you won't be... If I run around, I can't see, you can't see, it's pointless. So, anyway, um, so yeah, it was a really gory website. There's people with their heads being cut off, like, legit images of people with their heads cut off, arms cut off, like, accidents at work and things like that. Just loads of shit. And none of it bothered me. There's videos on there, there's pictures, there's everything. And none of it bothered me because I was just desensitized to it because the amount of stuff I've actually watched on TV. Genuinely, if I walked... A down the street and found a dead body like cut up and stuff like that obviously you report it and be a bit taken aback by it but for the most part you'd be like you would I, I don't think I'd, it would affect me I don't I could I could sleep easy at night okay sad but I think I could sleep easy at night because I'm desensitized to it because of all like films like Saw and and other films where bodies just get ripped apart and stuff you just see it day in day out that it just doesn't really have an effect on you I think living forever would kind of do that to you um I know the struggles of getting clips for player reviews, yeah. Um, I uh, found out the other day, actually, you do uh, videos. I have to check out your channel properly. Thoughts on True Geordie's podcast? Loving it, to be honest. Think uh, he makes some stuff up, but still very funny. I've not seen or heard, well, heard obviously, anything of it. Don't really watch any of True Geordie's stuff. He's a funny bloke, but um, I don't really, yeah. What age did you loose? your virginity have a guess and i'll let you know next week uh, lewis c99 c what a genius username well done mate your channel is dead says uh, says lewis let's go um let's go look at his uh, his little profile here eight subscribers does he ever upload video he doesn't upload videos which is cool because uh, obviously why would you have subscribers if you don't upload videos so i'm not going to take the piss out of the amount of subscribers that he has because obviously 
he doesn't do videos, so why would he have subscribers? In fact, to not upload and to still get eight subscribers, Lewis is actually doing very, very well for himself. So well done, buddy. Uh, the one thing that I will say is, though, make some videos. Try it. Go for it. Give it a go. See how far you get with it. Um, the, the fact that I'm still here making money from it really suggests that the channel is not dead. If you look at view by view on video, yeah, it looks dead. But if you look at the overall views per month, and the streams and the UFIFA and everything like that that you are coming in right now, we are making money here. Uh, so it's not actually dead. The amount of times I've been told your channel is dead is unreal. It, it um, it's kind of like that that desensitized thing all over again. It it kind of doesn't doesn't really. I read it earlier and I normally I'd be straight on that. And I'd be I'd be like arguing, but it's like washed over me it just doesn't have any effect have you ever made a video and thought it wasn't good enough to upload so never did i have hang on let me go have a look oh shit i clicked the wrong button um my hang on let me go to my video manager and i'll tell you exactly how many videos i have got uploaded on my channel right now that aren't live <clears throat> So I've got a total of two and a half thousand, two thousand five hundred and twenty-three videos. Eight hundred of those are um, have been removed by by YouTube because they are. Oh no, not eight, like seven hundred or something like that. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, YouTube removed about seven hundred of those because they are dickheads. Uh, so let me click this video right now, and it should tell me in theory how many videos this channel has got live no it doesn't of course it doesn't why would it because that's it, it doesn't happen when you want it so what is it 1500 videos i have live so if we go look at how many videos I, that are not listed right now um so this is going pretty much over the last i would say two years because I, I used to just delete them but for some reason now i keep them up as a reminder of how many videos i've actually ever uploaded and not uh not put live uh, and, and I keep like copyright claimed videos. I keep them on there, even though you can't watch them, just to give me a reminder that, you know, you, you can't do this shit. I'd like to document things, basically. So, my fire's gone out. Although I do believe it's getting daytime. So, we'll stick a little bit of wood in that fire, just to keep us going. Uh, but for the most part, we are going to leave in a second. Uh, so I've got about 98, 99 videos, I would say, probably maybe a little bit less, but 90 plus videos that I've made over the last two years that uh, that I've not uploaded. Uh, and I would say two years, I would say since since 2014, mid-2014, so however long that is ago. Um, hmm. Two years. Um, yeah, 90 plus. Uh, sometimes you make a video and... You're about to release it and you have a look around. Someone else has already made it, so you don't do it. That's happened quite a few times. And you don't you just don't want to get called out for like, oh, you're blatantly copying, even though you know full well you weren't copying. It doesn't matter because people will, uh, people are very quick to judge and very quick to, um, very quick to, like, like how a friend Lewis, um, your channel's dead. You know, instead of being supportive or just not commenting because he didn't like the content, Lewis feels the need to try and put someone down, so he'll be like, "Your channel's dead," you know, like that kind of that kind of thing. So, um, just trying to avoid those comments wherever possible. Other times, you upload a video and you watch it back, and you just think to yourself, "Nah, that's shit," or "No, nah, I've rushed that, and I'm not happy with it," uh, and I've and yeah, you, know, you just don't upload it. The amount of videos that, that you that I've tried to make or started making and then rendered and not uploaded in general, it's got to be in the hundreds. Hundreds, easy. There are quite a few player reviews last year actually that I started recording, got loads of footage for, tried to commentate it, and just wasn't happy with the whole thing or couldn't get enough clips, so I kind of gave up halfway through. There's loads of reasons why I never that that, that uh, I stop uploading or don't upload the video. But yeah, there you go. The more you know. Do you think Liverpool will finish top four this season? You think City, Arsenal, Liverpool and Man United. Liverpool doing really well, but norm normally Liverpool go through a period where they will smash uh, Man City 4-0 and then go away at uh, Watford and lose 1-0. Do you know, it's, it's that kind of thing. We lost to Burnley earlier in the season, having uh, played very well against teams like Tottenham. Uh, and then you just go and lose to Burnley. Do you know what I mean? So it's that kind of thing, that kind of situation with Liverpool. If we can avoid meltdowns like that, 
yeah, we can definitely finish top four, but I'm not making any predictions there. Uh, what's your opinion about the stuff we could live on the moon by 2030? Oh, God, mate, I'm so excited for that. I mean, okay, granted, chances of me being alive in 15 years are probably quite slim anyway, but, um, mate, it's 15 years, what are you on about? Uh, no, I, I, I just don't predict me living that long. You know, you watch now, right? I've actually been cursed, and I'll uh, live till I'm 210, but I'll have lock-in syndrome from the age of 40. Um, can you, oh, my God, that would be the most painful thing ever. Uh, so... What was I saying? Yeah, the the fact that we're uh, now planning on going to the moon by 2018, uh, or in 2018, the the guy funding it, the main the main scientist dude behind it, and the guy funding it, I think it's the same person actually. Um, they want to be on the moon, like, um, they want to be sending things to the moon to sort of ready to set up by 2018, and then by 2020 they want a manned mission to the moon. Which, uh, to the moon, to Mars. What, have I been saying Mars? Have I genuinely been saying Mars? You said the moon. Yeah, that... They're all about Mars, mate. Um, they're not moon. They're, this is Luke. I, I should have proofread. Oh, wow, I didn't know the hell he was still out. Oh, shit. Yeah, I should have proofread what you said. Let me start that whole thing again. So by 2018, they want to send um, proper spacecraft to Mars. Uh, and they want to like get, get everything sort of prepped for sending people out there. And then by 2020, they want to send ma a manned mission to Mars. Land, set up, kind of like the Martian really, set up a, um, uh, like a, living center i would say for like a couple of months and then swap people here and there so people aren't living there permanently and then by 2030 2040 they want to colonize the planet they want to send um okay obviously by what the hell's going on by 2030 2040 this isn't going to happen but you know in the foreseeable future they want to see a million people from earth move to mars and colonize mars and and live on there because the, the the thought process is there's no apocalypse plan this planet blows up this planet gets too close to the sun zombies um you know nukes whatever there's no backup plan there's no there's no plan plan b so the plan b is to move everyone to mars which is going to be just insane can you actually imagine people living it's like total recall all over again um uh, Fever Mobile is really good. I'm loving your series. What do you think are the best plans to s for starting players? <sighs> Honestly, I don't really recommend doing plans. I, it sounds stupid, but live events will get you um, the odd player here or there and coins. Doing seasons, which will is playing a full game, granted, but still, that gets you 800 coins a game. You don't even have to play it. Uh, you can sort of leave it there and let it run itself and it'll play itself and you'll win pretty much every game you play anyway. Um, so there's that. I would highly recommend you do those. If you have to do plans or want to do them, um, I mean, it's boring, very boring, but I would say just get in the, uh, the trophies. So get in bronze trophies, upgrading them to silver trophies, silver trophies into gold trophies, that kind of thing and sell the trophies anything from a silver to a gold to even an elite trophy will sell for decent money like 2000 coins right now obviously they might come down once the game fully comes out but for the most part yeah yeah i think doing that is probably the best way forward like i tried so much early on to do um I think we're good to do like team heroes which was obviously go to the club see how many crests you needed for things like Ender galaxy you need one crest uh you need six other crests for random teams and then you need to get yourself um an elite trophy and then you can open it up and you get three players from that team with a chance of getting one of the elite players that is where we're going to build right down there in that uh, in that sort of dip we may go over there like like over there but for the most part, I think I'm going to try and build here. Um, so, yeah, uh, I would I would, I'd would recommend not doing them because that's just they're just ludicrous. Like if you've got money to burn, then go for it. But in the in the latter stages now of this, since they fixed the market, it's not really feasible to go on to the market by yourself, um, <clears throat> by yourself, these crests 
and make a profit from it. It's it's a little bit silly, uh, the, the the prices of crests right now. So I thought that was a player. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that necessarily. I'm trying to get it so I can actually do my thing, but I don't think I'm able to do my thing. I've got a, not a glitch necessarily, but it's just a way that I like to do things on this game, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because it doesn't dip enough. It's going to be interesting to say the least. I'm going to go this way because this is probably the way that it won't allow me to do it. Oh, Luke is now watching this going, no, don't show them, don't show them. Come on. Oh, see, that... Oh, that's so frustrating. Anyway, don't know. I'm, I'm going to do it unconventionally. Really, game? Really, game? Really? I'm going to be... I'm going to be a bit silly. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't want to do that anyway. Oh, hang on. I can put one on the ground. I know you people are like, what the hell is he doing? Can you just get on with the questions, please? I came here for questions. I didn't come here to be taught how to play Rust. We'll get there eventually, trust me. We're wasting a load of wood here, but it's fine. Oh my god, this is perfect. Luke! Luke! Mate, I did it! No, I didn't. Damn it, Luke! <laughs> I've wasted so much wood! I would never do this normally. I've actually run out of wood. I would never normally do this, but I'm just on a mission there to actually get it done. This is interesting. Can I... You can put it there. Can you put that one there? No, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Am I actually out of wood? I got 34 wood left. You can put it there. I could probably do... Okay, that's okay. That's doable. Let's go get some wood. Uh, so, yeah, to cut a long story short, um, I probably wouldn't do plans. I would probably just focus on playing shit tons of games, getting coins and going out to the market and buying the players yourself. Plans are fun and can be rewarding, but for the most part, I just don't think it's worth it. Um... Would you rather freeze to death or burn to death? I think I'd probably rather freeze to death because your body just shuts down. Yeah, you're cold and it, it is painful, but your body shuts down and you pass out. Burning to death, okay, although it may be quick, kind of, uh, I don't like the idea of burning to death. I hate being hot f as well, so freezing to death definitely does appeal to me. As well, freezing to death, like the way that I would imagine freezing to death would be in a very cold place in the snow. Um... I like snow, you know. I like the cold. So being out in, in, in the cold with with a coat on, just on the floor freezing to death, sounds a lot better than being in an oven, you know. So I'm going to go with the freezing to death. First, says Diogo Pat Pin Hero. Good, good job, mate. How has FIFA 17 affected your channel so far? Amazingly. FIFA 17, if you go back, like you can pinpoint the exact moment, even without looking at the titles of the videos, you can pinpoint the exact moment FIFA 17 came out because I was uploading content. This is the week I was in France and I prepared content for the week I was away. I kind of wish I hadn't bothered and just sort of let it go, but I've kind of got this, I've uploaded daily for four years kind of thing, so I kind of need to keep it going. Um... That should be enough wood for the time being, just so we can get... Oh, God, look how big that base is. That's not even, like... I'm going to demolish most of that now, and it's not even going to... Yeah. Um, so... Let me get rid of the bone. No, I want to keep the bones. I'm going to get rid of the mace and make a hammer. Um, yeah, I, was, I uploaded a load of content, obviously, uh, for when I was uh, away, and... It did so, so poor. How can you not place... I mean, come on. How can you not place one there? I'm about to be able to put a triangle in, though. There you go. There you go. Right, we're, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Can I put one there? No? Oh, oh, but I can put one there? Okay, that makes no sense. Um... Oh, you'd be, oh, if I could put one there, that would be so sexy. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with this. A lot of you who actually know about Rust are probably thinking, what the actual fuck is this kid doing? And, uh, yeah, you're right. I probably don't know what I'm doing. Let's make a cupboard. Let's drop those, because who needs them? Probably going to need to go and get more wood in a second. So the content that I actually made uh, did so badly. It did so bad. One video still hasn't got 100 views. That's how bad it did. It was Metris Soccer. That game, by the way, has had so many updates recently, and I've just not done any of them. Not played them. I have no idea how good that game is these days. Um... But yeah, uh, huh, Jevsky says, ugh, Rust. Well, guess what? We're watching Rust again. I'm not even remotely halfway through these questions either. Wow, not so many questions left. Uh, so we'll have to get through that fairly quickly in a second. 
Um, I just love this game so much that I just I just want to play it constantly. I, I, I could happily sit here and just do I would, no, without any questions and just play the game. So this is what I'd like to do for the second channel. Just jump on and just do this completely unedited and just run around like an idiot. But uh, I, I know it wouldn't really go down that well. Let me... Um, oh, hang on. I want to I wanna get rid of all this. So let me go and... Um, So yeah, uh, FIFA 17 has, has dramatically changed the outlook of the channel. Like it, it, it was so dead. I was actually very worried um, at one point. Much like our friend Lewis, you know, the channel was dead. Um, I say much like our friend Lewis, as if he's dead. What I meant was what Lewis said was was kind of correct. You know, the channel was dead. Um, but you know, we. Uh, we persevered. We we saw our, saw our way clear to uh, to get through it, and you know you guys kept watching. And uh, FIFA 17 came out and saved my bacon. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm very grateful to FIFA 17 for for coming out. Because I don't know where I would have been without that. Probably on the uh, on the dole. Um, Luke keeps going on and off. FIFA is pissing me off. I don't ask questions because I watch YouTube on Xbox, which is co which is cool. That's not why he's wheezing, no worries, mate. I'll ask three questions, though. Favorite player to use in FIFA 17 to so far? Are you planning on doing the journey or a manager career mode? What do you think of FIFA 17 so far? I personally don't really like it, but I will eventually get used to it. Um, so we've already answered two of those questions. Mustafi is probably my, my standout player this year. Um, I've already completed the journey. Uh, I did it because I wanted to get the Alex Hunter card, which incidentally uh, is, is shit. So, I mean, you don't really want to be doing it. I kind of made a mistake with this. Yeah, Luke's probably watching this going, I knew he'd made the mistake. Well, that's a lie. He probably didn't think that at the time. But now that I've done it, he goes, oh, yeah. And then he'll tell me after that I made a mistake and he knew I made the mistake. Um, there you go. What you need to do is you need to plant. Um, you need to put. Where do I need to put? I need to put maybe, maybe those in. Oh no, I know what I need to do, I know what I need to do. I need to put those archways in. Can I can I do that? I'm I'll go back up to the top and try it. Um I'm wasting so much wood. Okay, I need to get rid of these. There you go. Now we can go back down and we can put the walls in. This game's so fiddly. Uh, let's upgrade the floors to stone. There you go. Boom shakalaka. Upgrade that wall. Upgrade that wall. Put that wall in so no one can ever get into it. Hello? Hello? Oh yeah, I can't put the wall in without getting rid of the... Whoops. Oh, it destroyed the roof. Okay. Well, that's pain in the tits. I was sorry, paying too much attention to playing Russ, not actually answering questions. But I just love this game so much that I'm gonna need to demolish that now. For God's sake, mate! Could make some really higgledy piggledy base. It's really pain in the tits. Imagine trying to do this right, but trying to do it where there's like people everywhere it just it wouldn't work but something you have to do in vanilla unfortunately put that on out of wall put that on out of wall maybe no 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 I've destroyed oh fuck it this game's so stressful it's like foot champions all over again there you go boom right I finally did it and then I can upgrade that there you go done so, uh, yeah, what was I saying before uh, Rust took over and I had to go into uh, into Rust mode? There you go. Door on there. Um, yeah, I've already completed the journey, so I won't be doing that. With regards to career mode, like I said, I will do one. Uh, but it'll probably be in December time before I actually before I actually get it done. Uh, just, just purely because uh, of the amount of stuff that I've taken on already which is a bit of a pain in the ass. 
Um, otherwise, you know, I would have been. Otherwise, I would have been all over it from the get go. I mean, what, in theory, what I should have done was just started the career mode right at the beginning of, of FIFA. But something that I didn't do, and something that I kind of regret doing. And honestly, can I not put foundations there? But I can across here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, potato, potato. Hmm. It's interesting. Oh, well, it looks like we're having a very big underground. Whatever. Oh my god, how big is this base going to be? Like, it's, it's just going to be too much for one man to take on. I'm not going to come back on it after today anyway, so fuck it, who cares. Um, and then with regards to what do I think of FIFA 17? Honestly, best FIFA they've ever made. Um, well, it's up there uh, with FIFA 96. <laughs> Game gameplay work gameplay wise, perfect in my opinion. A couple of niggly bits here or there, goalkeepers making silly mistakes, but that's just the case with FIFA. It always has been, always will be. But for the most part, I can I can honestly say that I'm I'm top notch. Very pleased with with this FIFA. Very very pleased with FIFA this year. Wouldn't change anything about it, and I kind of hope they don't change anything. The injuries can get a bit annoying, but that does seem to have calmed down a little bit. Um, the the free kicks I'm not a fan of. I will say that, actually. The free kicks could have, I think, be improved, ready for next year. But I'm okay with it the way it is. If you score one, you are genuinely happy and surprised. Oh, my God, I've accomplished something. So, you know, there's that. There is definitely that. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a problem. I know you said you are you don't like it personally. But, I mean, it's just so well balanced. Pace, pace is king. But it's not so much king that you can't, like, defend against it. So, you know, if you get what I mean. Have you heard of the 13-year-old Dembele in Celtic that's played for the under-20s team? I have. I told it to... I said... I was in call with Luke the other day. And I said, oh, wow, this guy um, made a... Or this kid, rather, made a, his debut for the under-20s. And he's only 13. And he was like, yeah, so? I was like, well, he's 13. And he's just played for the under-20s. Like, the one below the actual Celtic team. Yeah, so? What's the matter with you? Like, that's a massive achievement. Um, it's the brother of Moussa Dembele from Fulham, I think. I'm not sure if it is. It might be, but I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, it's still awesome. And he's, he's actually a really good player as well. The most anticipated question is, where is James Spence? That's not that's not Wake the Beast, mate. Let's just keep our, keep our uh, voices down. Bill Knott, who plays for Bradford, is my dad's mate's son. Well done, Cosa, for officially giving me a headache. Do you have a YouTube goal for the end of the year? Uh, no. Um, well, apart from the the thousand views a video thing would be would be quite sexy. Uh, I can't. I mean, I don't really have a proper like sub goal. I just want the views to grow. I mean, obviously the subs growing means the views are going to grow. Well, you'd think that for the most part. But uh, yeah, the sub subs growing, views growing, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, if I can, if we can get it going, uh, if we can, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm actually gonna. I'm not going to have foundations around the outside, I don't think. This is going to be interesting, actually. This is going to be very interesting. What I'm not... No, you know, I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do something very, like, what you would never normally do in this kind of situation. I, so I mean, this is this is something that I, I always do like base design wise I always do this like every single rust for the last like four months I've done this base design not this big but I've done this base design and it's always been effective it, uh, we've never really officially been well maybe once or twice we've been raided uh, where they've oh no once they raided and found the underground but apart from that never get raided and the underground's always safe but I've never built it like this before, so this is going to be interesting to see whether this actually holds up and people don't, uh, people stay away from it. It's going to be interesting. Um, opinions on AFC Bournemouth's season. I haven't really looked at, uh, at how they've done. Um, I haven't looked this year to see how they've done at all, so I, I couldn't answer that question with any real conviction. Uh, let's go and have a look. Probably going to get sniped while doing this, but uh, PL table. Bournemouth are currently mid-table, having played seven, one, two, drawn two, lost three. So 
very average season, but they're not doing a, a Sunderland or a Stoke or even a West Ham or, or a Swansea. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing okay. I mean, I think they'll survive. I don't really see why they, there's no reason why they can't. Leicester doing what everyone, well, not everyone, but what I definitely suspected that they would do, and that's have second season syndrome and struggle, which is what they have done. They've already lost three. Uh, Watford are doing reasonably well. West Brom are surprising me in particular because they have managed to... Uh, they've got ninth place after seven games, something I really didn't expect whatsoever. But, uh, no, there's a massive competition for top four places. Liverpool-Everton are up there, which I really didn't expect either of them to be, especially Everton. I thought Everton would struggle this year. Arsenal doing well. Tottenham still doing well. Only team in the league unbeaten. Man City still top, though. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, doing uh, they're doing all right, mate. They're doing all right. Would you rather have the best house in a shitty neighbourhood or the worst house in a fancy neighbourhood? Explain your answer. Um, I don't care about the neighbourhood that I live in, if I'm honest. Like, um, when, when you say shitty neighbourhood, I'm presuming you mean something uh, just like a... Just, just not a great neighbourhood to live in. Like, I don't know, maybe there's graffiti everywhere and stuff like that. I, I presume you... What the hell did I just upgrade? Oh. Oh, that's a foundation. I presume you don't mean like uh, people getting shot up every day or, or whatever or every weekend. I don't mean drugs either. I mean like literally shot in the face. I, I'm assuming you don't mean getting shot and, and drive-bys and all that kind of stuff happening in the neighborhood. I'm, I'm hoping you don't mean that because if you mean that, then obviously, um, obviously I, I don't want to live in that neighborhood. But... Um, There you go. That's such a big base for one person to take on. And obviously there'll be... Um, obviously there'll be... I might leave the steps there, actually. There you go. Yeah, we'll leave the steps there. Why not? Um, yeah, so if you mean just like graffiti everywhere, kids hanging around, that kind of neighbourhood, I'd happily live in that neighbourhood with a nice house. But to be honest, I don't give a shit what my house is like. So long as it's structurally sound and the roof doesn't fall off. Um, so long as I've got my equipment, a fridge and a toilet that isn't minging. Again, I don't care. I just, I just don't care. Um, but uh, no, I'd probably pick the, I'd probably pick the nice house in a bad neighbourhood. To be honest, because I don't leave the house anyway. Thinking of building a gaming PC. Any tips for making one cheap for good quality, etc.? Um, depends what you want. If I'm being honest, depends what you want it want it to do. That's the main question. Uh, if you just want something to uh, browse the internet, um, it says gaming PC, I know. But if you if you want something that's just going to browse the internet um, and play games sort of at a respectable level, nothing too crazy, you know, like games maybe like FIFA, Rust, on okay settings, uh, then. I would focus on your processor. I mean, to be fair, I'd focus on your processor anyway. Depends how much money you've got to spend, but I would go for an Intel 100% every single time. Even if you're on a budget, I'd go for an Intel. Um, obviously, without having a deep in in like a deep conversation with you, I can't really go into too much detail because I don't know what you want from it. Uh, but for the most part, I would say um, yeah, I needed to do that just to protect the outside on that side. Um, for the most part, I would probably say go for the processor. The graphics card, you can actually get away with something very cheap these days because they are making some really good graphics cards for less than 100 quid that can run games at 60 FPS, no worries. Um, 16 gig of RAM is definitely a must. DDR3 is fine. Uh, building your own is a way of saving a lot of money. Uh, build, building your own PC is... is um, if you can't build it yourself... I mean, obviously, feel free to, to take the risk and to watch some YouTube videos to learn how to build one. I, that's what I did uh, back in 2005 when I started looking to build my own PC. I um, started looking at some YouTube videos, and uh, it was there weren't that many around at the time, but there was a couple, and it was it was it was pretty easy. I mean, I used to look at PCs all the time. My dad, my dad's PC, like the panel, obviously came off the side, and inside it looked oh, a mess of wires. It looked really confusing. It's just like a big jigsaw puzzle. So if you can't build it yourself. You can learn very, very easily. 
Have you noticed it is easy to chip the keepers this year? In FIFA 17? No. In FIFA Mobile? Yes. By the way, going back to you, Tienan, if you want any help, just ask me on Twitter and I'll and give me a budget or something and I'll link you some parts or whatever. Um, it does just depend what you want it to do, really. I mean, if you want something to run games really, really high and you don't care about anything else, you'd be looking at different parts, really. Um, why do you think no one asked questions in the previous LGS? That's a good question. Didn't expect that to happen. Um, do you know, I don't know. I genuinely have no idea why. Um, FIFA came out. Maybe people were away playing FIFA. Uh, oh, I, can, I can't make it, though, can I? Um, FIFA came out, so there was a fair, fair chance that people were away playing that. Um, maybe the, the video didn't hit sub boxes. Maybe people just thought, oh, other people are going to ask questions. Just one of those things. Uh, I, I don't really, I don't really know why. It would be cool if you were the ones that didn't ask a question and you had a genuine reason behind not asking a question. It would be cool if you could shed some light on why you didn't ask the question. If that makes sense. So yeah, so if you're the ones, one of the ones on the LGS which had 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 it hard, had hardly any questions. Um, explain to me why you didn't ask a question. Like it's not, a, it's not a grilling. I don't care. I'm just curious. Let's get some low grade fuel on the go. See if we can get a furnace. Probably not gonna have enough to make a furnace, but we'll see. Um, given that you had at ten thousand pounds, would you rather invest in a house or the stock market? If I had £10,000, Luke Hill, I couldn't invest in a house, could I? Uh, let's be honest with each other, unless I was living in Stoke. Um, that's a dig at Stoke. No, I mean, if I had, if I had 10 grand, can I, I, can't, I couldn't... You can't realistically... Oh, I am going to have enough to build a uh, furnace here. I, I need the stone, but for the most part, I am going to have enough. Um, yeah, if I, I can't live... I can't invest in a house. So if I had 10 grand... I'd have to pick the stock market, although I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't do that in real life. I'm, I know I'm going out with two guns, but everything in that box is sacred to me, apart from that thing. I could make another box. Should we just make another box? Be easy, wouldn't it? Um. If this gets 47.7 thousand likes, I will roast TVM. You didn't get one like in me. How do you feel? Thoughts on foot champions? I've never been so stressed in my life. My blood pressure's through the roof and I've turned to alcohol. So all good here. Yeah, I completely agree with you, mate. Um, I haven't got that annoyed. This is going to be a long LGS, but I knew that was going to happen right from the get-go. I haven't been that annoyed at FIFA since um, FIFA 15, I think. I got really annoyed at FIFA 15 in several places. I think I broke a TV in FIFA 15 as well. Um, but yeah, F Foot Champions was uh, was borderline for me. Like I, I nearly killed a kid, essentially. I was just so frustrated with the game. I, I don't really know why. I mean... Like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, oh, fuck. at the end of the day, I mean it is night. No, at the end of the day, I'm I'm not. You, you, there's always next week. You know, like now now that it's finished, I can now qualify today, which I'm gonna have to later on. I I can qualify today for next week's foot champions. So why was I even moaning? Why was I crying about it? Why was I screaming at the TV so much? I've no idea, but uh, competitive FIFA is not my thing. I, I love FIFA, and I will play it till I die. And I will moan about it until I die as well. But when it comes to playing competitively, I can't do it. There's too much pressure. I get really annoyed. I panic. I go. I, I went 4-1 uh, up in a foot champions game the other day, and I bottled it to the point where it went 4-4. Uh, I just couldn't hold the lead. And it was nothing to do with the fact that the guy was better than me or good at the game in general. I just knew I was 4-1 up and bottled it. And it was it was all my fault. So, yeah. But I'm glad it's there. I am glad it's there. Very, very good game mode. Uh, very happy with it. I kind of wish the rewards were instant. So, like, for instance, as soon as the weekend shuts, uh, the rewards are in your club. But obviously they are vetting for cheaters, which I kind of understand. But at the, for the most part, I think what they should do is if you've won more than 30 or 35 games, you get your account looked at. Everyone else underneath that doesn't get their account looked at. Because let's be honest with each other. Who is going to cheat but make sure that they lose 10, 12 games? There's no point. So, yeah. Would you rather have a head size of a tennis ball or the size of a watermelon? 
It's a good question. Probably a watermelon because a tennis ball would just look too weird. That question posted twice because you are may because are you may be away from the chat. I am now sending a lot of messages twice as my internet has a sh hissy fit. Yeah, you're also spazzing up your English as worse as worse. Oh wow, never mind. Uh, who do you think will be next England manager? I'm gonna go with uh, Southgate. <laughs> Not gonna lie, TV would probably be hoping that Joe the Builder from down the lane becomes England manager, seeing as he is Welsh. This is very true. Um, uh, probably Mike Bassett. No, I mean I'm, I'm happy for Gareth Southgate to take the job. I think he'll do a decent, uh, decent job. Okay, you did call up Glenn Johnson, but we won't hold that against him. Um, but no, like um, like my friend there says, I don't actually care who becomes England manager because I don't care if the national team go on to never win a competitive game ever again because I'm Welsh. In fact, if England never won a competitive game ever again, I'd actually laugh my tits off. But I think Gareth Southgate should be given the opportunity should he want the opportunity. I don't really see anyone else worthy of taking over the position who's in a position to take it. Does that make sense? Like, Steve Bruce wanted it. The passion was there. Would he be happy now that he's second choice? He's already in talks with Villa. He may already be the Villa manager, for all I know. So, yeah, that's out the window. Um, the Bournemouth manager hasn't got enough experience and needs to stay at Bournemouth. Who else is in the in the frame? You know, there's just no one there realistic, realistically that can take the job and do a good job, in my opinion. So I think Gareth Southgate should be given it for um, for the World Cup. I, I it's it's a bold statement. It's it's a risky maneuver from England, but let's be honest. What have they got to lose? They'll qualify. They'll qualify with ease, and then it's just a question of how they'll do in the tournament. So I reckon they should stick with Gareth Southgate until the end of the World Cup. Judge him on his. Um, Judge him on his uh, his performance throughout the qualification and the World Cup, and see where see where you are at the end of it. You know, it it just makes sense to do that, in my opinion. But obviously, England won't do that. They'll go and hire fucking Joey Barton or something. Your top ten things for what? Your top ten top ten things FIFA seventeen, as in like the top ten things that that that's that I like about FIFA seventeen. The gameplay has to be the first one because the gameplay this year is is phenomenal. The next one is probably going to be the squad builder challenges. Really do like those. I'm glad they're in there. Uh, the pack animation, believe it or not, I hated it when they first announced it. I looked at it, I was like, wow, that's massive, clunky, horrible, can't stand it. Uh, but actually really like it. The flare that comes out of the packs when, when you open one is genius. I love that. A lot of people don't like it because it ruins what you're going to get. But I love it. So yeah, pack animation, gameplay, squad builder challenges, foot champions. Obviously, that's amazing. That's gone in there. Uh, for I'm not gonna have ten things, by the way. Um, in fact, I'm not even gonna have five because I would say the card design because I do like the card designs. But that's pretty much about it. The one thing I'm actually really happy with is are the unlockables. Now, obviously, they could add more easily. They could add more, but for the time being, I am more than happy with the fact that they've just added untradeable unlockable players so that Raheem Sterling right from the get-go is is already made the game better than FIFA 16 just for adding that little feature in and I've said it time and time again I've actually made the video twice on the channel once going into FIFA 15 and once going into FIFA 16 I made the unlockable um the unlockable like I want this kind of video right whereby I didn't have the idea of submitting things for squads, but I had the idea of maybe playing a certain amount of games with certain players in order to unlock untradeable versions of that player. So uh, one of the examples I think I gave was Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho at the time had a, or was just about to get a pink card. You know, one of the first ever footies, I think it was, um, in FIFA 15. And the, the thought, well, it was before that, I think. We, they didn't even announce that at that point. But either way, what I said was, it would be awesome if, if, like, after you score 100 goals with Ronaldinho, it would be amazing if uh, you could then click, like, submit on Ronaldinho and submit him to a a challenge or and, and get yourself, like, a, like a red Ronaldinho with, like, plus one on his rating or maybe a classic Ronaldinho from when he used to play for Barca. That kind of a thing, you know, like the the unlockable, the kind of like the trade-up system that they've got, the squad builder challenges. They've added that, really happy with it, and I'm glad that they've done it. It's probably the biggest and best thing that they've done is added unlockables. Obviously, the Jonas, the Jivinko, those are brilliant. Just hoping that they, they do more and they, they keep it going. 
Not too many, but yeah. Which which leagues would you like to be added into FIFA next year? Obviously, the Chinese league needs to go in there, definitely. I would like to see the Indian league go in as well, because the Indian league does have some pretty sexy players. But more importantly than all of those, I think we can all agree here, the Welsh Premier League needs to go in. Um, no, I'm being serious. I know like hardly anybody wants it, but I would love it, even if they just added TNS in there, just to have a Welsh club in FIFA would be phenomenal. I, I would use them all the time. I'd actually do a seasons um, series where I try and take TNS to uh, to the next level kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that would be kind of cool. Favorite Simon and Garfunkel song? I don't have one. Uh, what footballer do you dislike the most and why? Joey Barton, because he's a knob. Yeah, probably it probably has got to be Joey Barton. The guy's an absolute tool. Uh, who would you want Liverpool to, to join Liverpool? Neymar, Bale or Griezmann? Bale. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Liverpool fan, obviously, but I'm Welsh, so Bale would be Bale would be top-notch. I don't think Neymar would do that well in the Premier League anyway because he lacks strength, and obviously the Premier League is very physical. Bale's been there before. He's done it. He's proved it. He's, he is Premier League through and through. So, yeah, Griezmann's decent, but Bale would just be my first choice, definitely. I don't know if you can set homes on this uh, on this server. I don't think you can. I probably should have tried, though. Does the money you earn from YouTube let you live, or are you just surviving of it? Yeah, surviving. I mean, what's the difference? But, um, no, I don't I don't really have a lot of spare cash. The spare cash that I get comes from the stream, pretty much. So whenever you donate, uh, for the most part, you are helping with bills, but you, you're giving me breathing room. At the moment, though, anyone who donates on stream, it goes straight into FIFA points. Uh, but uh, no, anyone who donates, yeah, you give me breathing room. Like YouTube, you FIFA, uh, that that money uh, is all sucked up. Explosion! I haven't really been on the game long enough to know what explosion that was. It sounded quite small though, maybe a uh, survey charge or something. Okay, that sounds like a gunshot now. Um, yeah, so uh, like all the money that I get from you FIFA and YouTube straight away goes into my bank, and then it I'm like not even kidding. As soon as it goes in, it goes straight back out again on bills, and all I'm left at the end of the month with is probably like five quid, and I'm not even joking. So like all my bills go out, and I'm left with nothing. Um, and then any donations I get from stream then helped go towards maybe uh, FIFA points or going out somewhere or doing something like that. I mean, generally though, I'm sometimes behind on certain bills, and then stream helps me out with it. That's really close. That sounds like survey charges. Uh, hello, Luke. Don't forget to read this out TV out to TVM. <laughs> wow, there's so many explosions. Are they really trying to blow up my cupboard? No, they can't be. Sounds like it's behind me anyway, but uh, I do need to get going. I, I do need to start sort of improving the base so that they, I don't get raided straight away. Chances of me being actually raided already. Question for you. What Prem football teams do you have more subs than? You will be surprised. Oh, shit. Um, I do, what, do, what do you mean? Like More subs than what? More subs than they do on YouTube? Or um, more subs than they have stadium capacities? Well, I, don't, I don't really get the question. That's why I heard something. Uh, I need to get a furnace on the go so I can actually put... That's new. That wasn't there a second ago. Get my wood. Get my low grade. Eat a piece of this. Get my stuff furnace. Alright. I know this episode is long, uh, but I don't care. Because it makes up for last week's, right? Uh... That's a weird question. Um, if we're talking, um, if we're talking their YouTube channels, let's go to say, for instance, let's go to Watford FC and see see if they've got a YouTube channel. Uh, Watford, the Watford official YouTube channel has eleven thousand subscribers, so we're beating those. Uh, the whole thing is frozen now, so I can't. There we go. So I've got more subs than Watford have. Let's go to someone a bit bigger. Let's go to Everton. Everton FC have 40,000 subscribers, so we're, not, we're about 10k behind, just under 10k behind uh, behind Everton. Let's go to a bigger club again. Let's go to the best club in Europe, Liverpool FC. They've got 487,000 subscribers. That is shocking how they've got so many compared to someone like Watford, who is still a Premier League club, still a massive club, and yet they've got 11k. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to Stoke. Stoke FC. 
These are the official channels. Stoke have got 17,500 subscribers. I would imagine that I've got more subscribers than, say, uh, 60 to 70 percent of the Premier League then because I mean if you go to say West Ham West Ham probably have a lot of um, a lot of subscribers uh, mainly down to oh, they got 46,000 okay that's not too bad but I mean that's mainly down to Spencer FC let's be honest with each other uh, anyway let's go back to the comments uh, Things you hate most about FIFA 17, that's an interesting question. Uh, there's not an awful lot I hate about the game in general, if I'm honest. I'm going to farm in there, so let me put this. There's not an awful lot I hate about the game. Um, I would say that I hate the go the, the go not hate the goalkeepers, but the goalkeeper could, could do with some improving, definitely. Um, yeah, the goalkeepers could definitely do with some improving. They make far too many mistakes whereby they shouldn't do. The injuries really piss me off. Like I, I can understand getting injured and having to take your player off, and I, and I love that. I really do love that. But it's too much. It is definitely too much. They need, they, they really need to improve the situation when it comes to, um, when it comes to injuries. Like it's, it's every game. Every game you get someone injured. And they have to go off. And it, they've toned it down slightly, I think. I don't think it's as bad. But it is still pretty pretty annoying. We can nearly put a code lock on that door, which is awesome. I'm thinking I'm probably going to get... Now I can. I love the, the this server is class. I mean, it's not got enough people on it to warrant me staying, but it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't I don't hate anything else, but may start a series called DDoSing to Glory, where I go, where I DDoS until I get onto Drama Alert to to meet Keemstar. <laughs> Genuinely, right? That's not a bad idea. I mean. Wow, I'm unlocking a shit ton of stuff. That's not a bad idea, though, is it? Like, if someone really wanted to get famous or whatever, or not famous, but you know what I mean, like, someone really wanted some recognition on YouTube, all they would need to do, for the most part, is um, is is something like that. You're asking why I'm putting those frames in? It's just to give myself some more stability around the outside and things. I'm not, I'm not going to, like, ever make it so it's 100% around the outside, but... It, uh, it it will definitely help. It's not honeycomb, so if they do break in there, they won't want to. Yeah, but you know, it's fine. People are definitely in the in the vicinity. I do need to sort this shit out. I'm gonna get raided like any second. Tens times here on Walter's Mountain. Let's get that in. Let's, uh, let's upgrade that to stone. Oh, I upgraded the wrong one. Well, it's a very clever use of stone. Okay, so we are... We're not safe, because we are going to get absolutely slaughtered by people soon. Let's get the, let's get the roof in for most places, just as twig for now. And then we'll. I'm going to build... Um, I want to build a little sort of area around this. A lot of you don't care, but I'm taking pride in my work here. The problem I'm going to have is that I'm not going to be able to do. Do they have slash remove? Unknown command. I want to put a shelf in somewhere. I could put the shelf in here eventually, though, couldn't I? Yeah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, you're not telling me I can't actually see that. Oh, Christ, I'm not going to be able to navigate. I'm going to have to sort that out eventually, but for the most part, we are Gucci there. I need to make myself a door. This is, uh... Oh, I need to get to level 11. Wait, I am level 11. Why can't I make double doors, then? Pretty sure 
level 11 was double doors. Oh, it's level 12? Ah, you little wanker. Okay, we're gonna have to put a single sheet metal door in. Not really happy about that, but. Building blocked. I deauthorized myself on the cupboard. Oh, hang on a minute. That's a clever idea. Clear that. There you go. Anyway, what am I saying? Um, why are you so favourable? Do you mean likable? Uh, if that, because if that's the question, then I've still got no idea. Um, I don't know, mate. If if you mean likable, then I, I I genuinely I couldn't tell you. I mean, I I don't think I am, but obviously I'm I'm flattered. Now I don't know. Some people will find me annoying. Some people will find me entertaining. I I guess I don't know. I I. I don't think this episode has been entertaining at all. I mean, I, I've just been on Rust, and uh, you guys probably don't even like Rust. If you come through that front door, you have to go round. You can't get in there, and then boom. Let's go get some metal to make that door, and then we are safe. As much as I would love to keep playing this afterwards as well, I know I'm not going to be able to. Let's unlock that door. Craft it. Craft that. Right, okay, we're about to be safe. For the foreseeable future, would you rather have sex with your mum in a secret, or in secret, or have sex with your mum but everyone would think you did? Oh, but not have. Right, okay, I get it. So, would you rather do it in secret, no one knows, or not actually do it and then people think you've done it? The age-old question that uh, you you think wouldn't or shouldn't be a thing, but it is a thing. Um, It's a good question. Okay, we're safe. They have to explode to get through, kind of thing. You know, they have to like blow up things to get in here, which is which is decent. Um, let's get a little fire down so we can actually see what's going on. That's the last question of the LGS as well. In interestingly enough, there's no spam questions this week either. So, um. Obviously, you say not do it, but people think you've done it. But honestly, would you rather just get it done so that people think you're normal? Wouldn't that make more sense? I can't believe I'm actually contemplating this. I think I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I'd rather people just think I did it because, I mean, ultimately, I know that I haven't done it, right? So that's all that matters. Yeah, all right, mate. If you'd said, would you rather have sex with your mum and I'll give you a thousand pound or not do it? I'd probably pick the thousand pound option because uh, hashtag money haul. Uh, but um, no, I'm probably going to say not do it, but everyone think I've done it. I think that'd be the best um, and that'd be for the best. So, yeah, that is actually gonna be it for this week's LGS now I know that one is a particularly long one it is an hour an hour and a half essentially and I've really enjoyed myself playing Rust I would love to continue playing it I think what I might do is try and get as many videos done as I possibly can as quick as I possibly can ready so that I can maybe jump back on and give this another hour and see what I can do in the hour would love to do a second channel Rust series really would but it would be uncut, it would be very long, and I think a lot of people would be very bored of it. But uh, let me know down below whether you'd like to see something in particular on the second channel. Now, I know LGS is not normally something you'd ask me questions like that on, but I'm going to give, I'm going to make an exception to the rule. Why is it raining in my living room? Oh, my furnace is on behind me. Um, yeah, so if you guys have got... Um, if you guys want to see anything in particular, oh, I keep deauthorizing the cupboard. If you guys want to see anything in particular on uh, on the LGS, please let me know. Oh no, no, hang on, let me I, let me let me get this down so I can see it. Right there, we go. I can I can think. I, I, if I, if nothing's down, I can't think. If you guys want to see a specific game on the second channel where I can literally just sit down for twenty minutes, half an hour, or even an hour. And just record it and upload it completely without editing any of it. Let me know down below 
because a i could stream it and then upload that or i could actually play it by myself for an hour and just upload that no editing because the editing is what really gets me down with time it's because it, it takes ages to do it if i could just upload the file straight away to youtube without worrying about it then the second channel could, would be fine. So let me know down below if there's any games out coming out or whatever you want to see gameplay of on the second channel or stream. Get your questions in ready for next week's LGS. Thank you very much for the support on this one. As always, you have been great. I say as always, last week you were shit. This week you've been fantastic. Good, good, good job, mate. Good job. Have one of the new plastic fivers. No? Okay. I shall see you guys next week. Enjoy your week. No one die, please. Thank you very much. Good night and uh, bye.